Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Jung Shit Kim. I'm a citizen of the Turkish Group. I'm here with the Turkish Group. And the first of all, the, I'd like to ask how much uh, emergency fund for us, you said 3%, how much is going to be for your emergency fund? Are you asking how much 3% yeah. is? Yeah. It's about $2.4 million. $2.4 million. So we spent $2.4 million plus $5.1 million short. No, the, um, the 5.1 includes the 2.4. That means we're not showing the short of 5.1 million dollars. Well, if we want to have a 3% reserve, which is what I said, then the deficit is 5.1 million dollars. That means clearly uh, the, our school board misused the fund to the, uh, preserve or secure our school year. They failed. Is it? Because um, 3% of the bond, the only is not there. It's not, uh, they don't be disbanded. No, it's there right now. The question is, will it be there in June? Oh, because... The, the bond is there, but not cash yet. Correct. Correct. Yet. Correct. So, the, what, what, how much would it be uh, if the money comes in, how much is going to be short for us? Well, we will be we will be able to meet our obligations this year. So in case the money comes in everything. Right. So that means we're not short. No. Actually we short short the cash and the hand. Two things. Number one, we the cash flow, the cash on hand, it's going to be difficult for us because the state is deferring payments. But the second thing is just the, the cuts in the funding to Calexico Unified are such that we have a gap. Now, if you add, if we want to maintain that 3% reserve, which is for emergency, or, um, then the gap is $5.1 million. And that's what I reported. Okay. Uh I believe the, uh, our the supervisor, Mr. Carillo, had a nice speech for us. And we, citizens of the Telexico, we elected board members to job right for our kids education. All of the parents in here, they believe our kids is our future. And based on that future, we sacrifice a lot of things for our kids. Even they work, I think some baby talking about two jobs for them like they're doing it. They're doing support their families, they're doing a lot of hard jobs. Now, what kind of education you can get, school board fire all the teachers. Our, our school board has uh, made the, our teachers as burden. You think, you think our teachers, they can teach our kids in the right now? They don't know when they don't want that body. I met a lot of dedicated teachers, but the, some gentleman was called telling me, uh, telling us tonight, some teachers are very absent. That also the fail of the administration, they are supposed to be behind them, kind of uneducated, uh, un, uh, I'm sure that I uh, like can use it, uh, not responsible to teachers. They have the administration or the street district or the school board, they have their job to find those teachers to correct them. Instead of us. We believe, we believe, I, I'm the one who is a few times only here at the school board and on me. I believe that our, our elected official, they support to their job or the right job. But uh, what they give us, the uh, only they blame the state only. They blame the, uh, the what's called the recession of the economies. I believe the all the even the independent county itself, they don't have burden like us. 
We are the one who only only the we are the one who thinks in the all day. Must be stranger. Must be stranger. Last last Tuesday, and they are going to think stranger. Last teacher next next Tuesday. How we expect our teacher they dedicate their job to uh, teaching our kid? But I see uh, all this year our teach our children is going to be left home. I'm not going to blame the teachers. We are the one who blame. We are the one who blame to elect a fair school board. Thank <laughs> you. 